It is I, DOS Books, and you are watching Time Slip Us by. I am here to tell you about the books I read from April till the end of June, and it was plenty. So, I will begin with my first book, Batman, Nightwalker, by some guy, by Marie Lu, some woman. I like this book. It is the, my probably, well, it was at the time my second favorite book from the DC Icon series after Wonder Woman. But after reading, read, uh, reading Superman, it's probably tied for second place or a slightly third place. Um, enjoyed it. Loved the whole Batman series, Batman whole universe. Loved the video games. So I got into this. Yeah. It's a good book. Give it a try. After that, I read uh, Catwoman. It's like Soul Stealer or something. Soul Stealer? Oh shit. Hi. By Sarah J. Moss. This is the first time I ever read something by her. Um, has to be the weakest book in the DC Icons series. I did not enjoy it as much. Maybe because we have Batman and then we just have something right afterwards that's sort of in the same universe. It, <clears throat> it's too much. It's blah. And the thing with that is why I, I, why I like Superman more than Catwoman. It's because with Catwoman, there's always fighting, and there's just you're at a hundred almost all the time. With Superman, which I read, um, it's it's very simple. Or you know, Oklahoma, Kansas. I don't know. No, it's flyover country. No one cares. It's very plain. And then when shit hits the fan, shit hits the fan. And it's fun. It's like a roller coaster. Versus Catwoman, where it's just it's constantly there that you get fatigue. So that's why Catwoman is like my least favorite of the DC icons. Um, after Catwoman, I believe I read yeah, Red, Red Rising. Um, I read Red Rising because my coworker said it was her favorite book, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, started out very depressing, very. It, it was like the Lunar Chronicles, in the sense there's like colonies in space, and there's like there's like a class system, and it's depressing and kind of gross. And after the first teeny weeny part, I don't want to spoil the whole series. After the first teeny weeny part, then it gets interesting. Then it's like Battle Royale. It's fucking awesome. I'm assuming it's like Hunger Games, which I haven't read, which I'll get to eventually. So I enjoy that book. Um, I think it's the first book out of five, maybe? Six or seven? I don't know if I'll continue it, because my coworker who told me to read it told me that the second book was kind of a letdown. So I'm kind of thinking that I'm just going to stay where I'm at. Just cool, thanks. So I read Shadow and Bone because that was a reading challenge given to me by Burnett Bibliophile. The link in the description below, to, right here. Just tap the link. Now, I made her read The Little Prince, and she read that, made a video, and then I read Shadow and Bone and made a video about that. Um, you can check out my what my opinions on that book. In the links below or I can tell you right now so I liked it part of it was very cliche very like very school like with clicks and stuff like oh they think they're cool those are the cool kids those are the goth kids just it was okay but before I finished the first book I already placed a hold on the second book because I was interested in seeing where this goes with it, where, where it goes so place a hold on the second one but the next book after Shadow and Bone I read Superman. I think what's the good subtitle for that? The Immigrant. <laughs> because, um, undocumented immigrants and immigrants, um, were like a big main focus of the story. I enjoyed it because I told, like I said before, it is plain, it is very, like, oh, American. And then goes, shit, it's the fan. So I, I like this sort of, like, action and then rest, and then action, and then rest, instead of just constant action, and you get fatigue, like Catwoman. So it, it was fun. It actually became like my second favorite book of the DC Icons series, so it's worth a read. And the cool thing about the DC Icons books, I don't know if you've read them before, they're not really linked up, so you can really, you can just choose one or two, you don't have to read Catwoman. So, then I read uh, Ruin and Right, no, no, that's the last book. I read Siege and Storm of the Huisha Universe series. Uh, well, I, so with these books, I was listening to it on the audiobooks, 
and I wanted to quit so bad. It was bad. Like the first in Shadow Bone, like the, the ASMR, is it ASMR, AMSR, you know, soft voice in your ear. I hated that. The narrator was just like reading like that for a lot of the characters, especially the Darkling. And with, um, in the second book, with the Apparat, the priest guy, it's such a Boratty version of that. It, it was so much. I wanted to quit, but then the CD quit on me. Like, it wouldn't play on my car or my commute. So I had to, I had to fucking read the actual book. So I read the book on my little Libby app, downloaded it from the library, read it. I finished, it was like the last like five or six chapters were missing, so I had to read it. And it was easy, it was fun. And it surprised me, because reading it in my head was a lot more enjoyable than hearing it. So with the last book, after that, I read, the last book I read was Ruin and Rising, which I finished, um, I think, last night. Last, last night. Uh, I read the whole thing. Instead of listening to it. You did? The whole thing? Well, okay. <laughs> I listened to it for the first, like, two chapters. And then the thing that happened again with, like, it's, like, something on the CD. It's, like... So I just stopped and I just read the whole thing after the first two chapters. And I liked it, and I finished it fast. It was fun. So, like, on my, my Goodreads, like, account, I gave, like, uh, Siege and Storm a 2 out of 5. Complained how, like, it's just, it was a lot of whininess from the characters. And just, like, not a lot of action. And, like, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you don't like the book, just hit pause and read it yourself. Maybe that narrator's voice isn't what clicks for you. And it worked for me when I read it myself. So don't give up on a book. Yeah. So, so far I read those books. So we had Batman. We had uh, Catwoman. We had Red Rising. We had Shadow and Bone. Superman. Siege and Storm. And Ruin and Right. So that's seven books in these past three months. For a guy who normally reads one book a year. <laughs> so, um... Looking forward to the next three months, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I am looking forward to the next three months of reading. Uh, I'll see you then. I'll see you there. Okay. I'll see you later. Do you think I look better as a blonde? I don't know. Hey! You snatched my wig! Yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Uh. Uh. Yeah. DOS Books is the future of book reviews. Go ahead, turn your head, because you're about to lose. Six subscribers. Yeah, you heard me. I'm building up my YouTube army. Spitting fire like Bree. So Roger, don't phase me.